Welcome! JetBrains released a new lightweight code editor called Fleet. In this video I will compare it to the market leader in this category of software, Microsoft's Visual Studio Code. Even though JetBrains might not be aiming to compete directly with Visual Studio Code, if you are a developer thinking about switching from VS Code to Fleet, you would want to know how they compare in terms of features, performance and all other details. In this video, I'll compare Fleet with VS Code four categories Availability and Installation, Performance, Built-in Features, and Extensibility. Both editors are available on Linux, Mac, and Windows. Fleet can only be installed with the JetBrains Toolbox. The JetBrains Toolbox can also install other software from JetBrains, it handles software updates and it acts like a launcher for the JetBrains products. I find that a bit annoying and it goes against the main idea of a lightweight code editor that's unobtrusive. VS Code is of course free and open source with some open source pins you can use to not use the Microsoft version if you wish. Fleet, on the other hand, is closed source, maintained and provided by the JetBrains company. It's free for now, as it is in preview, it will be paid by subscription for commercial use later and there will be some sort of free version that is limited in some areas. VS Code clearly wins here in terms of availability and price. It's free and open source and you can install it without an additional launcher. In fact, you can use it without installing it at all as it's a web-based Electron app, you can use it as a cloud editor in your browser. VS Code is more lightweight in terms of memory usage. Memory usage of the Fleet Editor is very high, especially with Smart Mode enabled. In fact, the memory usage of the JetBrains Toolbox is equal, sometimes even higher than Visual Studio Code running on idle. In terms of startup time, VS Code starts on my system for 1.2 seconds on average. Fleet is considerably slower and it starts up for 2.8 seconds. The overall experience when switching views and the overall smoothness of operations is very similar between Fleet and Visual Studio Code. I noticed that in Fleet, scrolling is not as smooth as in Visual Studio Code, and selecting text in Fleet is not very responsive. I noticed that text selection in Fleet particularly is considerably slower than VS Code. I'm not sure if it's artificially slowed down by a transition or if it's just limited in performance, but it's definitely not pleasant and I think it will annoy a lot of people. The search features of Fleet and Visual Studio Code are very similar in terms of performance and user experience. I would rate them exactly the same in terms of my personal experience. In terms of source control and Git integration, the commit and push user interface is similar in VS Code and Fleet. I can't find significant differences to say that one is better than the other. Fleet has a history view, which is actually great and an alternative is not built into VS Code as far as I know. You can get such functions with an extension in VS Code like GitLens, but the solution built into Fleet is really good and I like it a lot. IntelliSense, auto-completion and documentation hints are available in both editors. In Fleet, you have to turn on Smart Mode with a button in the top right corner and Fleet will analyze your code base. After that, it will provide better IntelliSense, auto-completion and hints. Fleet has some advantages compared to VS Code. It shows usages of certain classes, functions, code units. This is not available in VS Code by default. Fleet finds more functions in other modules and you can import them easier than VS Code. Both editors hint parameters for functions and their type. VS Code has better auto-completion for built-in standard functions, like built-in node modules and the C++ standard library functions. This auto-completion for standard functions also comes with a documentation in the editor which is very useful and that is not available in Fleet. Overall, I would consider Fleet's IntelliSense slightly better out of the box, 
with only a few drawbacks, primarily the lack of parameter hints and documentation for standard built-in methods. There is no extensibility in Fleet. Plugins are supposed to be coming soon, maybe with the official release of the editor, but even when plugins become available, Fleet will struggle to match VS Code's rich extensions ecosystem anytime soon. So VS Code is the clear winner in this category. In conclusion from this comparison, I can say that VS Code is still significantly better than Fleet as a general purpose code editor, based on the categories we talked about in this video. VS Code excels in availability, performance and extensibility. The only area where Fleet had some advantages was the built-in features and more specifically IntelliSense and auto-completion. With this, I'll wrap today's video. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe to get notified when another video is released. Take care.